exactly how I edit my Instagram photos, kind of walk you through the process of editing and how I plan out my feed, all of that. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so before we begin, you're gonna need three different apps. I use Visco, Snapseed, and Unum. And they pretty much all serve a different purpose. So Visco I use for the filter or if I need to add any grain or just basic adjustments. And then Snapseed, I go in with the photo and if I need to make any minor adjustments. So for example, if I have a blemish on my face or if I need to lower or brighten up the background, things like that. And then I use Unum, which is a feed planning app. Now, if you're on Instagram, I highly, highly recommend you find a feed planning app that works for you. It just overall keeps your feed looking cohesive. It's really good to plan out the content in that way. There's like Ponoli, um, Mosaico, Mosaico? 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 There's so many different kinds. I personally like Unum because the aesthetic is so cool and it's just really user friendly. So yeah. So the first thing that I like to do is go right into ViscoCam. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my image. And um, so the first thing that I like to do is just the basic adjustments. I want to go ahead and brighten this a little bit. Mm, let's do like a one point. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some contrasts and bring up that a little bit. Okay, and then what I like to do, especially for beauty flat lays or just anything with like objects in it, I like to um, bring up the clarity just to bring out the, you know, the sharpness of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to add some grain because I love me some grain. Alright, so let's do maybe... We'll do a four point. Okay. And then I'm actually going to lower the saturation just a bit. So I use A4 and J2 a lot. Um, lately I've been using A4. It just matches with my feet and everything. So I'm going to lower down the intensity. Maybe we can do a 9.5. I'm going to go ahead and crop this as well. Oops. Go. looks good maybe we can go even lower awesome okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and save to camera roll actual size okay and then the next thing I like to do is go right into Snapseed and so we're gonna open up the image here okay all right now typically what I like to do is and I might be crazy for this, but I look for any like little details that I need to fix. So for example, I don't know what that is. I think that's like toothpaste or something. So I'm going to go ahead and use a healing tool. Um, and I'm just going to tap it. Just tap, tap, tap. And I, <laughs> I know no one probably could tell um, if I did point it out, but oh, there's one right here. Let's see. This is tricky. I like it because you can get really in there. Okay, that looks good. All right, so then the next thing that I use a lot is the brush tool. This I really like because you have full control over what you want to, you know, brush over, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the background. So I'm gonna do a negative three. I typically like to start lower and just build my way up if I need to. Um, but I think 0 0.3 is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush over the background. Like so. And I'm lowering the background because I really want the subject to pop out. Um, and the subject is the, you know, all the product and everything. So I just want to make sure that is the vocal point of the picture. So I think I might even go deeper. Let's just see how this looks. I don't know, I feel like that's way too deep, but let's try it out. Does that look too over edited? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I might just do the 0 0.3. I feel like that was way too dark. So honestly, it's just about, you know, trying things out, experimenting. And just, you know, what works best for, um, for the photo and just overall your feed. Okay. 
So I kind of like that. Maybe I can even go and lower some of these like brightened up overexposed product there. It's just, it's all about the details. Just all about the details. I would say that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a before and after. Awesome. Actually, <laughs> this will take me hours, literally. I'm gonna just <laughs> brighten up my myself. Okay. All right, I'm done, I swear. Then I'm gonna go ahead and export this. Export, export it. Okay, and then the next thing that I do, pull it into Unum and make sure that it is cohesive with my feed, make sure it's not like some rando. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, and we'll see how it just fits. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Alright, well that is how I edit my Instagram photos. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe learned a thing or two. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!